Amanda Bean's Amazing Dream, story by Cindy Noshwander, pictures by Lisa Woodruff. I am Amanda Bean, and I love math. I know all about counting. I am very good at it. I can count by ones, twos, fives, and tens. I can add up anything. The kids at school call me Bean Counter. Hey, what are you counting, Bean Counter, they yell. Anything and everything, I yell back. I just like to know how many. I count every day, even when I am on my way home from school. Now we are learning about multiplying. I understand many things about multiplying. I know that it is like adding lots of things quickly. This is good. I know about the multiplication sign. It means that things can come in groups or rows or columns. This is also good. What I do not know are the multiplication facts. My teacher says it is important to learn these. I am not so sure. I think I just can keep counting. I tell my teacher this. He agrees, but he says counting is a longer way to find the same answer. I think about this when I get home. I think about this as I eat a snack in our kitchen. I look at the tile countertop. The countertop, I say. I must count these tiles. I notice that there are 12 columns of tiles. There are 12 tiles in each column. It is a long time before I count all 144 of them. I am Amanda Bean, and I like to work quickly. Maybe multiplying would be faster. I walk to the library to check out a book. One bookcase has seven shelves and nine books on each shelf. I am Amanda Bean, and I count anything and everything. I start counting. I finally figure out that there are 63 books in the bookcase. I am happy to know this, but now the library is closing. It is too late for me to look for a book. Maybe I should learn to multiply. Maybe it would make counting easier. I am still thinking about this when I go to bed. I am very tired, but my mind just will not quit thinking about numbers. Once, when I could not sleep, my mother told me to count sheep. I stayed awake all night counting them. The next morning, I had 6,727 sheep in my head. I don't think counting sheep is for me. Tonight I will think about riding my bike. This is simple. There are only two wheels, two pedals, one seat, and one of me. I will imagine a quiet ride in the country, I whisper to myself. I can see the rolling hills, the big trees, and the green grass. This is relaxing. I say as I begin to nod off, I am pedaling along a quiet back road. The sun is shining. A gentle breeze is brushing against my face. This is relaxing. Then I notice something. It looks like eight bicycles with sheep on them. How many wheels is that, I wonder? I start counting. But the sheep whiz by so fast, I cannot count all the bicycle wheels. Wait! I yell. I am a band of bean, and I count anything and everything. I decide to follow them. I have to know how many wheels have rolled by me. Then I wonder, how many legs do those sheep have all together? Now I really must catch up with those woolies on wheels. I really must know how many. I pump harder. I breathe harder. Up the hill they go. Up the hill I go, around the bend they go, around the bend I go. The sheep stop at a barn and get off their bikes. I get off my bike too. I do not stop to count the wheels. I follow the sheep. They go into the barn. I go in too. They reach into their fleecy pockets. Each sheep pulls out five balls of beautiful yarn. Oh no! I cry out. Now I must count the yarn too. 
I am Amanda Bean, and I count anything and everything. First it was wheels, then it was legs, now it's balls of yarn. I cannot believe my eyes at what I see next. Seven grandmas come marching in with two knitting needles each. They take the yarn from the sheep and start knitting sweaters. This dream is getting too crazy. Now I must add knitting needles to my list of things to count. And each sweater has two arms. Should I count them too? The grandmas start wrapping all the sweaters around me. Stop, I tell them. How can I count all the arms and the sweaters and all the knitting needles and the balls of yarn and the sheep's legs and the bicycle wheels if I am all wrapped up? M U L T I P L Y bleat the sheep. Multiply, 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 chant the grandmas. Multiply? I ask. I am Amanda Bean and I count anything and everything I say. Multiplying is counting, says the grandmas. It is just a fast way of counting. Yah, agree the sheep. I wake up to find my mother wrapping me in her arms. I had an amazing dream, I say. It was a noisy dream, my mother says. Today I will start to learn my multiplication facts, I announce. They are important to know if you want to find out how many. And you need to know fast. My mother agrees. I am Amanda Bean. I still love knowing how many. But now I multiply anything and everything. And I never count sheep. <laughs>